to construct a dashboard. So I'm just going to go to sheet one. And this nasty looking thing is kind of nasty looking. But the nice thing about what we've already done is we know what the graphs look, look, are, gonna, are supposed to look like. So we know what we want. We just need to figure out where to put stuff. And where you put stuff is generally here in these row, columns and rows. So for columns, we're going to put our date. And you just click and drag. Did I miss it? Yes, it's there. And for rows, I'm going to... Is that eye cases? Yes. I'm going to click and drag my eye cases. All right, well, that looks pretty horrible. But we'll fix it up. I'm going to change this to... Notice it's got a bunch of different dimensions. Uh, so it handles quarterly data, monthly data. Uh, this isn't really monthly, but we know it's close to monthly. I'm going to choose... Um, I'm going to choose daily. And I want this format. So kind of a date format. So I'm going to choose day. That looks familiar. Again, we're seeing that seasonal, those seasonal peaks that we always see. Uh, there is one thing wrong. We're looking at the sum of cases. It should be average cases, and it should change the scale a bit. Sum is the default. So notice it changes the scale significantly. <coughs> Uh, now comes the cool part. We want to be able to break down our regions so we can compare you know, open, reserve, Napa, Silverado, all that stuff. All those are contained in our um, region, right? Yeah. So let's take region and I'm going to drag it into that, into that sucker right there. Because I want my, my I want my different regions to be different colors. So click and drag. Everything's drag and drop in here. What did I do? Did I grab year instead? Let me remove that. All right. Region. What am I doing? Click, drag. Boom. Oh, that's, now that's nasty looking. <laughs> because that's the entire data set. So what we want to be able to do is filter out and compare the ones we want to compare. So I'm going to take that same region variable and drag it into filters. It gives me a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just going to say sure, whatever you say. <laughs> And then I'm going to do one more thing and we're done. Drop down and you can actually show filter. So notice I got this filter here. Yeah. And I'm going to go to uh, presentation mode, which is that little easel thing. And now I want to compare Highway 12 and Gallo Sonoma. Uh, well, how about Highway 12 and Napa Open? Now, let's compare it to all lines. So now you've got an interactive, so we don't have to, again, like you guys did, you got 400 pages with different graphs. Yeah. Now you've got, <laughs> now you've got one page, one page where... This looks even better up there than it does on the screen. Uh, now you've got one page where instead of me flipping back, think about, think about this in a PowerPoint. <coughs> Wait a minute, I'll go back and show me Highway 12 and, and uh, Gallo Sonoma. I gotta you know, go back to whatever slide that was. It was slide 52 of a 100 deck slide. Now you don't have to do that. You just, it's all interactive. 
Okay, let's take a look at what's going on with North Sonoma. Let's do 29 reserved versus Silverado open. And then there's all wines in there. Let's just get rid of that one. Is this cool? So you still, I mean, basically with Tableau, you still have to generate your, manipulate your data in Stata first and then. Actually, Tableau is, if you kind of lift the, the hood, is basically Excel. So we could have we could have exported the raw data and did the indexing in right. uh, in Tableau. So Tableau is basically Excel with a better visualization uh, uh, interface. Whatever that means. Um, but in essence, it's it's like a, a it uses the same kind of uh, commands that Excel uses to uh, to generate stuff. So if you're comfortable with Excel, then you you could probably learn um, uh, how to mani manipulate data in Tableau. I'm comfortable in Stata, so I go from Stata to uh, to Excel, then to to Tableau. And can you save photos as like JPEGs, or save the graphs like in Stata? We can save them as JPEGs, and not like screenshot. Like how, or do you screenshot them? Like what's the? Yeah, that's uh, you can save these as PDFs, or I think. JPEGs also. I've done it as P, I've done them as PDFs, uh, but yeah. Once we go to, let's see, go back to here. We can go back to here, and you can do a, a screenshot or. Um, How do you say that's a PDF? Because I like if we click save. Doesn't it just save this desktop? It saves, it saves the workbook, yeah. yeah. So I think what you want is a dashboard or a worksheet or where's the story? Let me save this in PDF. I just don't always like to rely on screenshots in terms of quality. Yeah. We don't want any fuzzy graphs. <coughs> Print to PDF. Print to PDF. Yeah, there it is. So if you print to PDF, it's going to kind of show that whole. It'll show the graph. It'll show that region. It'll show the, the um, keys on the side as well, or it's just going to show yeah. the graph. No, it'll it'll print the graph. So let's let's try. It. Hold on. Uh, and you get these options. So do you want the entire workbook? In other words, do you really want this and that? Or do you just want the uh, your, your interactive sheet? So let's do that. What else is in there? Yeah, you, you PDF after first. Uh, where is this going to go? Let me put it on my desktop. So I This just updated, so um, there you go. And this is uh, this is not um, Tableau. This is uh, Acrobat. Also. Uh, the nice thing about it is that you can, the nice thing is when you publish this stuff, you can publish, you can embed these, so I can embed this into my website, my webpage, for example, and all you'd see is, so you'd be able to go in and look at this and, uh, you know, do all your comparisons and all those kinds of things. We get multi, you can have multi-dimensions, um, it's, it's, you know, if you try to look at the, some of the examples, it's amazing um, how much stuff you can do. But Tableau's, Tableau's is definitely cool. Like I said, it's, it's going to make um, 
it's going to make um, PowerPoint look like this thing pretty soon. You're still using an overhead projector? You'll be shot. You're going to say the same thing about, about Tableau, about PowerPoint at some point. PowerPoint's going to look like an old technology. But this is, like I said, it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely a safer, especially in a, in a presentation where you don't want to be flipping back and forth and doing that kind of stuff. Now, imagine our forecast, and again, this is a nit, but let's say that, let's say that this was, uh, this is Silverado open, this was a normal scenario, and we wanted, to, and this scenario was if the economy tanks or something like that. You'd be able to, to kind of do this, this interactively and say, okay, if we assume the economy tanks, it's going to be the, the what is that, <coughs> pink? Um, a what? A coral. A coral? It's like a salmon. 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 It looks pink to salmon. me. Salmon. Pink to me. Uh, but we can have kind of our scenarios here, right? Uh, worst case, average case, and a best case. And we can import, we can export our results from Stata and have uh, an interactive forecast where that is really cool. That is really cool. And you can set it up so that you can have the, those tables underneath here also. So you can have different panels. Um, so we can have the graph up here, the tables that actually give you the numbers, which is what they're going uh, to look at when the data starts coming in. Um, Tableau is, is really cool. So you can improve that x-axis to better demonstrate that those peaks are in the holiday periods? Yeah. And we can change these names to, you know, so this is just what the data calls it. It looks like there's some missing observations. Sometimes uh, uh, either Excel or Stata will add on a couple of extra periods. I think that must have been Excel, though. Or it might have occurred in the, in the export. Uh, but we can get rid of those nulls. It just means that there's some uh, zero observations. Well, that would be the first period, right, because it's indexed? It, nulls are usually zero, uh, missing, though. It could be. Let's see if it adds another one. Yeah, I guess it is. So th it didn't add it. So I know on, on usually uh, if you get nulls, it's uh, we should be able to ignore that because zero means something in this case. It's our starting period. But yeah, you can um, do lots of stuff with this. Any questions? So we'll do a forecast. And then I'm going to ask you to, how long did that take us? I mean, even with you guys doing it for the first time, to right. replicate this? Yeah. How long will it take you? We'll find out. We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you're going to have the new, the new problem set. You'll have the new problem set, and then you'll have this little addendum to, to the old problem set. And hopefully, ideally, we're going to use um, Tableau throughout the course, some more throughout the course. Not everyone, but every problem set, but where it seems reasonable to, to, to use Tableau, we'll, we'll use Tableau. Wow. We're done. Holy crap. Oh, uh, yeah, let's just sit around. Hold on.